Hi, it's Seb Brantigan, the Britpreneur. Very excited to have you here on this WordPress tutorial where I'm going to share with you how to remove the date stamps from your WordPress posts. Now, this is going to work for all posts, it's going to work for any pages that you've done as well. Um, so, I'm just going to jump right into it, really. Um, so, this is going to be useful if you want to keep all of your content evergreen. I would also make sure that the uh, content that you're writing, uh, the blog post itself, don't have dates in there. So whenever you're writing content, uh, unless you plan to update the blog post or the piece of content you're doing, I would always endeavor to leave out date specific stuff because you've always just got to go back and edit it and change everything. Um, so if you want to keep everything evergreen and if you want people to see your content and, uh, and, and not see it as outdated, then this is what you do. So you scroll down here, go to settings and we're going to go to general, okay? Uh, so you'll get, in, get yourself into uh, WordPress so you can see all this stuff. And we want to come down here to date format. Okay. Uh, now there'll be, uh, depending on how your WordPress was set up, I think the default is they put some uh, letters in here. I think uh, when I, before I changed this, uh, what was here was in this little box here. So all we do is whatever is selected here, it might be this one, it might be this one, there might be something in the custom field. We want to select custom. And whatever's in this box, we want to delete everything. So I would do Control and A, and then just delete absolutely everything. Make sure there's nothing in this box. And you might want to do the same for the time format as well, because people aren't, I suppose people don't really want to know when the, the time that it was published. So if you're going to remove the date, it probably would make sense to remove the time format as well. It's just it's not really relevant. I don't, I don't see why you would need to tell people that. Uh, unless you specifically wanted people to know, then I would also remove this as well, and you just follow exactly the same process, and then click save. Okay, as you can see here, it said GIAD. I don't know what that means. Uh, this is just their coding. Uh, so just remove everything that's in the custom boxes, click save. And I'm going to show you a blog post of mine, uh, so you can actually see it in action. So this is my blog, and you can see here. I think it's got the little calendar thing. Uh, despite re removing the uh, removing the date and the timestamps, it's got a little calendar thing there. I don't think it. If you click on it, I don't think it uh, looks like it just refreshes the page. So I'm not really bothered about that, though. I don't mind that being there. It doesn't really do anything. So it doesn't bother me at all. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to remove uh, date and timestamps. So you don't need any plugins. Uh, having too many plugins on WordPress, uh, you know, can slow your, your site down for, you, for yourself and for your users. So try and avoid plugins for stuff like this when you can just do it all uh, within your settings. So hopefully that helped you. Hopefully this has been a great tutorial for you. Make sure, to, make sure to subscribe to this video. If you've got any questions, anything else you want to know, post in the comments below. Post below if this helped you as well and if this all made sense to you. And you can also download my Unstoppable Marketing PDF, which is my specific seven-step guide on how I became a full-time digital marketer and a full-time marketing consultant at age 25. So make sure to pick up that guide as well. There's a link below this video, so make sure you download that. It's totally free, and I'll share with you my seven steps on how you can do the same. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next video.